The Solomon Islands is a collection of nearly 1,000 islands in the South Pacific Ocean. Remote communities of the developing nation have been managing their own food and water resources for thousands of years. However, the impacts of the changing climate are affecting the natural adaptive capacity of the people and their environment. In Roviana, like a lot of the Pacific, there's really a handful of key things that um, in terms of climate change are going to be affecting people in the coming decades. Dr Simon Albert from the University of Queensland helped identify climate challenges that the people and environment of Roviana are facing. His work was part of Australia's $12 million Pacific Adaptation Strategy Assistance Program. The highest priority one is sea level rise, um, which is anticipated to be rising by at least 50 centimetres over the next century. Um, the other ones involving the marine system are uh, increasing water temperatures of the ocean and also acidification of the oceans, lowering the pH of the oceans. On top of that, there's also uh, air temperature. Uh, average and maximum air temperatures are likely to increase, uh, as well as uh, changing rainfall patterns, so increasing variability in rainfall. They're really the main uh, climate change issues for Roviana and the Pacific more generally. Roviana is a remote saltwater lagoon area in the western province of Solomon Islands. Its 17,000 people rely on its natural marine and land resources to survive. In Roviana, like uh, many areas in Melanesia, the, the land and the sea are customarily owned by the local people. So it's really critical that we work together in partnership with the local communities to try and uh, ensure that those that research and, and awareness that we're conducting is, is taken up by the people that matter, which are the local communities. Over the past 60 years, local people have observed changes in their environment and society. There's a big change from late, I should say, late 60 to 50 years ago. From, and, and then now, there's a very big change. Change from the land, uh, from the sea, change from the, from the tide, change from the, the fishing, change from the, okay, and also humans. Change the weather, it's like any time now, you know, but before we know that it's like a circle, you know. As the matter of the water, make a hot air of the region to go. The <laughs> Le <laughs> Established community networks such as the Roviana Conservation Foundation and the Castom Garden Association are essential for raising awareness about adaptation measures. One of the ways which some Roviana Conservation feel we should do is to um, get the villagers, both the young people and the older people with the children, to participate in the different activities um, that climate change projects can do, like uh, maybe building sea walls or looking at coral bleaching and planting coral and um, planting more trees in the gardens. We did uh, different tools we use to communicate to farmers. We use uh, posters, we use uh, power presentation, we do use um, farmer to farmer. They just go and talk with other farmers. Here in Custom Garden we have uh, HF Radio 
and we also do provide few HF radio to farmers in remote areas that we communicate with them through HF radio, mobile phones. The local people actually were involved in collecting the data. At the center, we explain uh, what is the What's, what's this all about, why it relates to climate change, and why are we doing this? When you produce a map and explain to them that this is the... the you, they are involved in that process, and then you produce the map at the end of the day, then something's click on their mind that, oh yeah, something's going to happen. So slowly, they begin to change, and they start to plan, plan ahead. So we've developed some quite simple um, tools using uh, ground-based uh, laser levels that local communities can use themselves to provide really accurate pictures of, of um, which areas of their, of, their, of their village are more vulnerable to sea level rise and that can help guide um, basic uh, planning of, of where to build a school or a church or a, or a hospital. Uh, by blending you know, modern science with some quite simple practical locally applicable tools we can help these communities answer some really fundamental questions. Following on from the PASAP research, the Roviana community has developed a five-year climate change resilience plan to guide the community, governments and international donors in strengthening the resilience of its people. Both the marine resources and the land resources have to be used in a way where we can look after ourselves and have quality life, sustain our life.